lots of stories. Some people used to say, you have a story for everything. Oh God, is that not level? Son of a, it's not? Do you say, uh-uh? My first painting class, painting 101, um, the, it was the chair of the, the uh, art department in Oswego State University, this tiny little art department. And he um, pulled me into his office and he said, just give up. I'm not giving you anything better than a D. Uh, you're not a painter. And I said, excuse me? <laughs> and I was like, um, I stopped painting for like 10 years. Um, I never, I didn't paint anything. Um, and I didn't love painting. Painting was really hard for me. I hated the brushes. theme definitely is the body, uh, is anatomy, um, and most of it I guess looks like the female body, but um, I don't consider it solely female, because I consider myself a two-spirit. So it is, it's all flesh, muscle, bones, and then it's all either pulled apart, so sometimes if it's abstract, it's pieces, but all, it's all the figure. I've been obsessed with the figure for as long as I can remember. My coming out, I see, I was, well, I was in a sorority and I thought, and growing up Roman Catholic, so I thought, God, there's no way that I'm gay. And I didn't even know the word gay, so the, my mom used to say, we're gay, this riffraff. She was Roman Catholic Italian, and I was like, oh, there's no way that whatever that thing, and that some, something's wrong, and I had boyfriends. And... I was on her pledge committee, and I'm supposed to be mean to her, and I was like, I'm gonna run to the bathroom, and she was like, I gotta go to the bathroom too. I didn't think anything of it. We all went to the bathroom together. I was not a gay lady at this point. So I was like, okay, and we're like, eh. And I think I got to pee for eight seconds, and she like grabbed me and put me up against the wall and started kissing me. When I was finally like, I'm a lesbian, I like, you know, like I was like beside myself. Like I cut my hair, I like lost 60 pounds. Like I lost my mind and I started wearing a leather jacket. Like I was like, woo, I was happy, I was crazy. And then I started to paint again. I started to play and, um, and then I started to travel and just be, you know, this, I started to feel uh, that I was a body. I guess if that makes sense. Like I, I started to feel I was in fact like a human with, like prior to that, like I felt nothing. So I was just like going through the motions of life. I had someone in Italy, uh, her name was Elizabeth and she was a painter. And she said to me, um, I was already, like I was painting, and I had just started the body thing, the, the bodies, and she said, um, paint them until it stops. Don't, just because someone says, you should paint other things, paint something different. She said, just keep painting the same, just keep going. And that was 10, well, no, 14 years ago, and I'm still painting the bodies. And that, to me, meant so much. Like, it's helped me get through Feeling like, oh, I'm like a loser. All I can do is these goddamn bodies. And I just keep fucking painting breasts. And, and I'm like, just keep painting. And I can like hear her voice. Like she's just been, and I don't think I've ever told her, but she's just been this instrumental little voice that says, just, just keep going. <laughs> My roommates make fun of me. They're like, is that Britney Spears? Yes. What you are, baby. It just goes back and forth. The Britney Spears Pandora station is like desperate. Justin, Britney, Justin, Britney. But I don't mind it. <laughs> it's amazing that back in, it was 92. 
and now it's on prime time. And you're allowed to be gay. I think it helped me being gay because it was a struggle. Yeah, and all this stuff is just me trying to figure out who I am, my sexuality. It's all about my sexuality. It's all about stuff that happened to my body as a child, you know, stuff that is put, what I think is put on me, like my perception of how people see me, um, you know, everything. So it's gay is a big part of my work. Yeah, totally. And I love breasts. <laughs>